Welcome, welcome, welcome to Season Your Words and Food with Grace. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, y'all. I got me some good old buffalo. Look at all this buffalo. And I got me a big, fat, juicy, sour pickle. Yes. That's the way I used to eat it way back in the day. I got my bread on standby just in case the bone get large. You don't never usually do it, but better safe than sorry. So I try to be cute and I put a lot of hot sauce, but I am a hot sauce person. I am a hot sauce person. Red hot. The only kind that I use. Well, I have to use other ones when they're not, you know, when I don't have that available. And yes, I love my mustard on my buffalo. Come on. You know what? I forgot to. I did. You know what? Go around that corner and give me the other mustard that's up there. Because this here is not cut good at the top, so. Bless the food. Uh-uh. It's right there on the counter. Bless the food in Jesus' name. Purify with your blood, Lord. You know I always say my grace anyway, but for those that standing around say, she didn't say her grace. Okay. Thank you. You know, I, I shakes everything up. I shakes milk. Ooh. Shakes milks up everything. I just I don't know. I have always did that. So it's good, y'all. I already taste the piece. Show did. Show did. Okay. Let's get with it. So, how's everybody doing? I know a lot is pretty angry for what had happened yesterday, but we just, just got to pray. We in peerless time. Oh. We got to pray. Doesn't mean that we don't stand up for what's right in. We can't get angry for what is taking place and how they handled it. But after all of that, we, got, we must pray, y'all. We must pray. Yeah. Just leave it there. That's my granddaughter, Serenity. Hmm. And by one big piece of juicy. I felt the bone somewhere. Maybe it was so fine it got chewed up. And I guess my pickle from Chicago. I mean, it's a certain type even in Chicago that I get. And I guess it and I season them. Serenity, go over that way, son. Okay. Mm. Mm. Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Now, this is something else that I could eat leftovers, buffalo fish. Not so much that catfish, I ain't up throwing it away because I know I wasn't going to eat it, you know, leftover of it. But buffalo, let me tell you. 
I get up in the morning and I will eat it straight from the refrigerator. That's how much I love it. I can eat cold buffalo. Yes. Mm. Mm. Jesus. I have to keep remembering it. <laughs> Only my cousin will go off on me. She said, here, here I go again. I ain't going to say what she said. <laughs> mm. Big old fat sour cookie. It's seasoned just right, y'all. Season just right. Jesus. One thing about Buffalo, I can clean the bones. I try to give a fish bone to a kid, they'll probably scratch my eye out. <laughs> I could clean them. Mm -hmm. That fish is good. Oh, God. Me too. Good clean the bone. Mm hmm. So good. You don't remember cousin, but we used to always go across the street to that fish place, that meat place. They sold fish and meat. And we'll get the fish and a big pickle. You remember chicken, but I remember the fish. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Mm. I put some more hot sauce on there. I'm hot sauce straight. I know I felt it in there. Make sure no one's saying nothing because, okay, yes, I do remember you come up with fries and chicken wings. I have a pickle when, when I... I have a pickle and hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. You remember that store by that uh, railroad track? It was a white store. And we're going to get that fresh fish. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know my nose. Okay. This side. For my nose, this side for my hands. I told you I have to put it in my pockets so I can be finding them. But you tell me I just stick them down and I can't find them. Mm. Baby, you have to get all up in here. You don't play with it now. Mm -mm. Mm. 
Bye. Bye, y'all. Mm. Yeah, chicken wings from there too. I be eating bone fish all on my mouth. No when one is in there. Like, you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> mm. So, what have y'all been into? I know the talk, everything is about what happened in the U.S. Capitol. But, um, you yeah. know, I talked to the Lord. Whatever goes down, I just be like, Lord, I just want to be ready. Save me. Hey, how good. I was going to do my, I keep saying, I was going to do my asparagus. I said, let me just eat it with my pickles. You know, mostly with my fish, I can't do all them sides like folks do with spaghetti, coleslaw. Maybe right, just give me a big plate of my fish and the hot sauce. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Look how pure that meat is. Can y'all see? It's a white pure. That's why I like blue crabs. It remind me of the buffalo fish. It's so they taste different. So good. So good. <laughs> that is a lot of bone. Not a bone in that one. Should have had my jalapeno pepper. Squeezy that juice. Woo! And you know, I make my own jalapeno pepper. So they be crispy yet juicy. Ooh, God, they good. This go to when I use, uh, this is some, um, when I used to go get that chicken from Popeyes or, I don't know if they took that chicken half. I think so. But um, they pepper sometimes be all smushy. Ugh. I start making my own. Make my own.
Mm. Let's see. Feel the bone in my mouth. She said her cats would not eat my bones. <laughs> I used to try, usually, when I have eight catfish, I mean, buffalo, even if I'm through, I used to go back and Really, really clean the bones. <laughs> now I gotta be doing them blue crabs. <laughs> None left behind. Mm. One piece of fish. She got her earplugs in. She just ate pizza. And a little bit before that, she had steak and shake, a bacon burger, bacon cheeseburger, big thing fried, and now she's eating a pizza. And this, since she got out of school, she gets in the car saying she hungry. Yeah. And then for y'all, mm. mm. Ooh. Feel another one. Mm -hmm. I was going to do it to get that piece out of my teeth. My tooth. That's good. Ooh, y'all, I'm getting full. I be getting full so quick these days. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Gone, girl. Say it up. You know, I've been eating my spaghetti meatless, so I make my homemade, my own homemade sauce with real tomatoes. I don't, I don't particularly like hamburgers like that. No, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm old. I'm old. And you use the tell you sausage. That's too much meat for me. Mm -mm. Another one. So, how y'all weather? It's been a little bit nippy here. Had to break down and cut on my heat. <laughs> I'm a budgety person, y'all. I do a call. 
How many sleeps with the heat on? I don't sleep with heat on. I have so many covers, covers and comforters and blankets all on my bed. Baby, I mean, I be down in there. And thank the Lord that my daughters have bought me new mattresses for my birthday. I was thanking God today. I said, Lord, thank you that they bought that. When was it? In August for my birthday. I went mattress shopping. Lord, mattress shopping takes, oh, God. If y'all knew the stores that I went to and looking all online and going to try to sit on them and lay back, and especially when this pandemic and, oh, y'all. That was that was so stressful trying to buy the right mattress for my back. Then I asked the back doctor, and um, he told me to get um firm. So then there's so many different firms. Your best your um thing be closing your own. So even with all of that different um different firm mattresses, I still had to do a lot of shop around for my firm. Because there's firm. Then um, something that's firmer than that, you yeah, know, hold on, y'all, hold on. This don't even be hot. My food don't even be hot. I don't know, but like I said, it's an allergy or something. But it only happened in this here place here that I, my nose run and my eyes run. But uh, that firm... But I found a good one. And I hated to tell them the price, but God bless. They bought me that in August. My two girls, thank you, Jesus. My back say thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let me try to tackle this. These two, those, and then that'll be it. I can't do no more. That'll be my breakfast. That's my breakfast. I love cold buffalo the day after. Just like I used to love cold chicken from Brown. My mama used to go get that cold chicken. Oh, God. Even when I used to cook chicken a lot, I like it cold, honey. Put this hot sauce on there so it could be ready tomorrow when I take it out the refrigerator. <laughs> so, that's this rocker. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but my arm. Um, I don't cut my heat on at night. Like I said, I've under so many comforters and blankets. And yeah, I know they got these blankets now. They conform to your body. And how do y'all sleep? Like me? Well, back in the days growing up, and my sister and stuff would be all in the bed. And we used to sleep under the cover, put the cover over our head. I can't do that now. I got to breathe. <laughs> I be trying to get a little airway up in there. But, you know, I do take my feet and pull that cover up from the bottom and tuck it under me. 
I can't have no no kind of air on my on my foot. Foot, feet, nowhere, nowhere, no air, nowhere. Only some, it got to be, I can't just sleep good under the blanket over my head anymore. I can't do that. feel like I'm dying. So, but that's that was the way back then, honey. Back in living in Illinois, and it used to be so cold. Oh, God. It used to be so cold, even with the heat on. It used to be so cold. We had blankets. <laughs> we had our coat. Baby. H2O. It's the way to go. Mm -hmm. That's the weird, I mean, the rocket chair y'all hear. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so full. Lord have mercy. I'm so full. So full. Yes. Me and my sister Denise, we used to sleep next to each other. My head be all under the cover. But I tell you one thing. That was some good sleep. Mm -hmm. What are y'all up for? I am stuck. I have seen. I'm trying to stop. I think I'm stopping now. Just going to go back over the bones when I get off of here. Let's see. I put my glasses on to see my eyes runs. My eyes be running. But like I said, it's um it gotta be allergy. But it's only since I moved here. Only since I moved here in this here apartment. Nice apartment, but I don't know. It it, it messes with because my eyes just run, my nose run. I went to the allergy doctor, and when they got through with me, they said I was allergic to some everything, which I knew, but good gracious. The stuff that they was coming up with. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. So anyhow, she said, I love you because I'm getting ready to go eat some more, some more spaghetti that you made. Help yourself, sugar. Help yourself. Eat to your heart content. I got on my Memphis shirt. This is when my niece used to um, go to University of Memphis. And I just pulled it out today, honey. I had the hat on to the University of Memphis hat. So, woo, I'm full. Anyway, y'all, for my golden nuggets, y'all know, you already know, have nothing in your heart but love. And Forgive. The Bible said when thou standest praying, forgive. You know, we could be angry, but say not. We still got to forgive. When everything is said and done, we got to forgive. Because we got to know who the enemy is. I can't look at you and say that you're my enemy. I got to know who the enemy is that's working in you and through you. So, but anyhow, I love y'all much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, because this is the trying to get some money. Show Leo, show Leo. But um, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the view. Thank you for the thumbs up, the likes, the comments, or whatever. I appreciate everything. Until next time, thank you for stopping by, seizing your words and your food with grace. Remember how to talk to somebody, how to give them an answer, 
Let's not do it in wrath or bitterness or hatefulness. Let's have our words seasoned with grace. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. Come on.